Hey, what's up, what's up? I'm um, Michael Wood, the project manager for Express Gaming. And yeah, we out here in the heat today. We out here at um, St. Elizabeth. This is a mental facility or mental hospital. Minding my business. Okay, I was thinking of an idea of having a level where all the objects, like the platform, is like falling down and the player has to jump on each one to get up to the portal or whatever. Leave me alone right now. I can't do it. I'm working. I'm busy. I'm busy. God damn it. Alright, alright, alright. Um, what I've been working on today is basically trying to polish up the trailer and trying to get it published. So we're here today at St. Elizabeth psychiatric facility where they would do some weird stuff. Well, I don't know. Well, apparently that's what it is. There's been numerous cases of patient uh, uh, mistreatment where met, uh, numerous patients were killed unlawfully here. But you can see St. Elizabeth soon to be the Silicon Valley of where it's gonna be companies like Microsoft, Oracle, all of that good stuff. It was open to the public at one point for tours and such, but in 2005, it was actually mysteriously closed by the Homeland Security. That's kind of crazy. This led many people to believe that it was haunted. Creepy, right? And we out here with Microsoft, and they, this is supposed to be supposed to be the new Silicon Valley of DC, and Microsoft is just basically taking over portions of it. And we're the first people to actually be in here. One of the first people to be in here. And that's pretty exciting. You know, it's kind of creepy. It's been known to have ghosts. It's kind of fun. On Monday, we will be releasing the new Street Runner game. So be looking out for it. It's in the Windows 8 market. Thanks again for watching our videos again. Your project manager, Mike, and we leave in St. Elizabeth. Deuces. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Stay connected by liking us on Facebook, following us on IG and Twitter, and checking out our first company video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.